please read anonymous. So my boyfriend and I have been together for a little over a year and he's got his own place, but we mostly stay at mine. He's basically living with me now. We both work about four hours away from where we grew up and where our families are. My issue is that when we get time off and go home to visit my family, which is about once a month, he's very unavailable. He barely responds to my texts. And when I call, he can barely talk because he always says, oh, let me call you back. And then he barely does. Okay. When I broach the subject, he's always got an excuse. And he says that his daughter always has his phone when he's home. And that's why he's so unavailable. He then says he loves me, but, you know, all these complaints about his unavailability are exhausting. And if I can't understand, then we should just end things. My thing is, yes, I love him, but I'm at a crossroads about whether to stay or leave because even though I suspect he's either cheating on me or uh, with me, I don't have any proof. Mm. Wait, but she does suspect it? She said, I'm at a crossroads about whether to stay or leave because even though I suspect he's either cheating or he's with me. So I guess I don't know. She just doesn't know. Um, and just to add... We've met each other's families because, you know, we were both raised uh, by very African parents with very traditional values. And the only time I could take him home would be if we were getting married. Oh, we haven't met each other's families. Oh, okay. okay, okay, okay. I get it. I get it. So she's saying when she goes away to go visit and then she tries to get a hold of him, he's very unavailable. Very unavailable. And he has different reasons why. Yeah. But she does suspect. She said she doesn't know. It's like 50-50, it seems like. Hmm. I don't know. Usually your gut feeling will steer you in the right direction if something feels off, something's not right, something's not like sitting well with you. Well, I don't like the fact that he's not answering. And it sounds like something's she's, up. she's like at a crossroads because she's like trying to make an excuse and go along with it and believe it. But at the same time, she knows something's up. But she doesn't have any proof. So she's just like stuck. Just 302-858-5117. Again, boyfriend, been together for a little over a year. He's got his own place, but mainly he stays with her. Um, you know, they work a lot. They live about four hours away from where they both grew up. Okay, which I guess they live here, but okay. the, where they grew up is about four hours away. Um, and then they both go home, and he goes to his parents, she goes to hers. And when she tries to call or text, he's, like, not available. And he's like, no, no, I'm, you know, my daughter had my phone, or, you know, I'm out, I'm, I'm visiting, or, you know, there's always yeah. something. And when he does answer, he says he has the gal. Right. And then when I pull him up on it, he's always like, well, I love you, but if you keep questioning me about this, it's got to, I can't, I'm not going to go through this every time. No, something, something doesn't feel right. Something's not right. Somebody wrote in on a social media uh, and says, he has secrets. Back off yeah. and watch actions, not words. He's lying about something. Keep your own place and send it back to his. You're a sidekick or... Like they say, a convenience. There's something. Find some hobbies other than wasting your time and energy on a man. Uh, Beverly says he can't be that traditional if he has a daughter. Go with your suspicions. He's hiding you for a reason. Shamika says he's in a relationship with someone. Either leave him or let that man cheat in peace. Mm. Now, there is something. Because when you're in a relationship with someone, even if it's new... It doesn't matter the amount of time you've been with them. Even, especially when you first start. Right. You're always talking. Stephanie says, sounds like he's having uh, living two lives. He lives and works in another state, then goes home to his wife and child once a month. <laughs> right. Oh, boy. If he's willing to let the relationship go because you oh keep boy. asking questions and why he's unavailable. When y'all go home to see family, that says a lot. Time to investigate. Stacy says he's married. When you go go, both go back where you grew up, that's where his wife and daughter are. You're just an out-of-state secret girlfriend. Baby sis says do not marry him. He does not value you unless you're right under him. And probably not even then. He is meant for fun, not marriage. <laughs> Courtney says, that man has a whole family. You are the mistress. Mm, the mistress. 302-858-5117. Let us know what you guys think. Question of the day.
Here's Normani, Cardi B. Good morning.